Welcome back everybody, another episode of Running Red, the hardcore questing mod from Gideon Seymour. What I'm going to do today is carry on travelling into the nether. The last quest, have I got my quest book? I'll move that out of the way. Is to go to this other dimension. Let's have a look. So here we got Burning in Hell, and we've got two other quests, repeatable quests for getting ender pearls and getting um, gunpowder by submitting blood. And here I've got to go to this place. And we marked that in the map last time. And one thing I'm going to do bef before I go there, I've got a lot of things already prepared, is to make some angel blocks. And th And that, these are fairly straightforward recipe. One obsidian, gold and two feathers. And I'll make two of those, I think. I should have some obsidian ready made. I don't see it. Anyway, gold we've got two. And feathers we've got plenty of. And obsidian, I should have plenty of that too. Either not in that chest, but in this chest here too. And if you've ever seen these things before, they're quite useful. I'll show you exactly what you can do with them. So, for instance, wherever you are, if you want to place a block anywhere, just click it up there and you've got a block placed. Hit it with one hit and it comes straight back again. And I don't think it even matters if it's anywhere you like. So, and it keeps coming back. So that's very useful for when you're tra trying to do travelling and things like this. So, let's get a move on. I have done a lot of work already in the nether, as you will soon see. And hopefully there are not too many mobs around. Good, it's working. So here we have the, I put some slabs on top of this uh, gateway as it were, to the, and some slabs at the top, and then I've been putting down slabs on the bottom half of the block, all the way down here. And you should be able to see the red marker over there. That's where we're going to. In fact, what I will do is I'll just go to the map and change that marker to a different colour, Hades. So let's give it, say, uh, yellow. Because it's, it's actually quite a dangerous place. So it's, we should put it like a warning colour. Okay. So now it's a yellow marker and the orange marker should be the portal but it's not quite so as you can see what I've done is put down stone walls and slabs for a pathway until I get to here which is we're coming, I've done this as far as the um, X direction And I haven't done the Y. But the next bit is sort of a dangerousy part to do. And where I've got to drop down to the right level. It's a very long walk, this. And you'll notice there are no mobs spawning here. And the reason there are no mobs spawning here is because of these half slabs. If you don't, there are they spawn really quite heavily in the in this part of the nether. Right, we're nearly there. Here we go. It's lit up. So my idea has also got a chest here and a crafting station. So if I need to make anything, and I probably do like another set of slabs, I guess would be good idea. Walls, walls, walls. Now I've got plenty of walls. What do we need to have? Slabs, I guess. Huh? So let's go to the questing book and have a look how far away we are now from this. 94 meters away. 
So I lead at least 94 slabs and 128 walls. Is that right? No, 182, 86, 88 walls. Gosh, my mathematics dreadful these days. Nearly 200 anyway. So uh, what have we got now? We've got slabs. We want walls. Um, and I'm going to take the angel blocks. I want some stairs. I want a rope ladder. I've got a bow and arrow. And I want a sword. I don't want this sword. I don't want to take my questing book. I don't need these. I don't need an axe. I'll take a gate with me just because we might need a gate. And we'll certainly need some bricks to go down and some slabs and some walls. Where shall I put the walls? Probably like this. Yes, that'll do. But of course, first of all, I do actually need my pickaxe. Let's get my pickaxe in operation. So, I'm now at the right, I should be at 290. So now we've got to go down to, to uh, 200 and, what's the position? 262, I think, is, is, the, is the vertical. So what else she'll do, so I shall dig this one away and put the rope ladder down here on this side. I think that should work. And then I'm going to climb onto the rope ladder and put blocks going down here. So let's do that first of all. This is the bit I'm never too fond of doing. So getting onto rope ladders is a bit tricky. All right, good. So now I can just put blocks down here. Shift down and keep doing this until I get to a level. In fact, what I could do is to go down to level 62. Which is round about here. Select number five, because you can't actually operate with your, and I'm gonna put this angel block here. There. Let's go down a bit more. Put another one here. And of course, then you can build for up on these. Don't have to be just build down. If I've done that right, which I haven't. Oh, actually, it's okay. I can have a wall on both sides. Position 60. Fifty-nine. I'm going to put onto here now a slab and go up here. And then I can build onto this one some ladders, which I haven't got with me. So I shall have to go and get the ladders. Uh, yes. Because you can't swap inventories while you're on the ladder, you just drop off. Right. But from here I can start to put ladders down on here. Oops, wrong one. Try again, that's not that off. And select the right one this time. I should be able to reach quite a long way down.
Right, that should be adequate. Now I'm stuck on something. Oops. I've oh, just fallen off. Oh no, just fallen off. Oh well, never mind. I shall have to go back, respawn, get some more slabs, and carry on again. Hmm. Didn't want to do that. This is why I drop everything off that I don't need. So we've got plenty of stone in here, and this will carry on making smooth stone. So let's go and get that again. Uh, so I don't have any food on me, but there's food in the chest, so I don't need any. I've got no weapons now either. That's not so clever. Hmm. So this is the boring pit. Maybe I shall cut this piece out. Let me cut this out. Oh, I'm back again. After that long walk. So now I should be able to walk down this ladder and hopefully not fall off. And then when I get to the bottom, there should be a slab, so I shouldn't be too dangerous. There we go. So from this slab, I should be able to now put more slabs down. What position am I? 61. That will do. I think that's just good. Of course, I don't have any armour with me. I have to make some more armour, but uh, that's... We shall get there first of all, I think. And if I need to make some armour, I shall go and do that. Should have done it beforehand, shouldn't I? That was careless. Let's gently just tread around to make a little platform here. Take the block. Looks like it drops, doesn't it? But it doesn't drop. And we can. Uh, oh, that's some shit. I had some shit. But you can do that with this as well. You can, with the rope ladders, you can cut them. Let's just go a little bit wider, I think. So this is the correct position, so I now have to carry it off in this direction. Yes, this is the way. But I do want to make this a little bit wider in all directions. So all I normally do is click this one here and keep travelling back. And my marker seems to have disappeared for the... Uh, the destination. Let's just make sure I've got the marker still here. Um, this map again, isn't it? I don't see where it's gone to. Let's add a new marker. Right click. So this is the Hades, wasn't it? Why that should have disappeared? It's not player's death. Let's just change the group, I think. I can type... No, I think it's left click. Right click. It's quests. In fact, I should be able to choose all. What does it tell me? Space is next marker group. Okay. So, the marker was 290. And the X, 62. In the Z, I think, and 378 in the Z, that's right, 378, said Mark, yes. And that's there, and that's where we're going to. And it's in yellow, so I don't know where it disappeared to before. Okay. So now what I do here is I put down these fences. I still would like to make this a little bit wider, so let's just do that. Right, I've got slab selected, that's good. There we go. I never know what those noises mean, so if anybody knows what those noises mean, please let me know. It's sort of a good. So now that I can actually get the rope ladder as well. So what I now need to do is put down fences. And what I do is I put down the fences like this walk along a bit and then carry on putting out the fences. 
So I shall go nearer to the destination and come back when I've got near. Right, right I'm getting quite near now. I think I'm about 30 blocks away, so, so we may start to have some f sort of excitement, shall we say. So what I'm going to do is make my wall double on the on the on the fortress side and go back here a bit. Let's, let's go and make about, I suppose, as far as I dare. Trouble is, what I don't know is how far I can get there before they start throwing things at me. But it's faster if I... If I do it in stages like this as opposed to one block at a time, that takes a very long time. Make sure that we have some protection on that side and some fall protection on this side. In fact, I will just get a little bit closer. Rest my finger for a second. In fact, I could think I'll just have a look at the display options. It's a bit dark. So, where are the video settings? Let's make the brightness a bit brighter so we can see. Done. Yes, now it's clearer to see what's going on and where we're coming into. What is that over there? It looks like a... Let's see if we can shoot it. With the skeleton. Oh yes. Knocked him off, good. On blazes. Oh, I can't get him. Yes, there we are. Right, well, we saw me arrows. I might need some of those. Oh, I heard a shot then. What have I got in my hand? There's flaps. So let's put a slab, slab down. Move forward and a wall. And some walls here. Ah, uh, yes, it gets sort of exciting now, doesn't it? The slab. I'm not sure who's shooting. Who's sh oh, that one. I'm not sure who's shooting at me. Never mind. We'll find out in a minute. we we'll probably fall to our deaths or get shot off, one or the other. Optimistic, aren't I? Well, I've been here before. Ah, uh, yes, there we are. Let's get him in there. Oh. One's falling down there. Maybe he was the one who's shooting at me. And when I get in range, I should be able to. Um, they can't shoot at me, those with the skeletons, can they? Because they've only got swords. I did bring a gate with me last time before I fell off the ladders. So I was going to put a gate. Maybe I should go back and get a gate. Or maybe I could make a stone gate. Don't think so. Yes, here we are. We're getting shot at now. I'm just wondering what sort of protection I could use. Because I've got no armour. I better go and get some armour. Right, I shall go there and do that and come back and I'll see you in a short while. Bye. Right, I'm back again. This time with some armour. Not enough and I've got a few more bricks, just to be certain. Uh, and a notch apple. That will give me resistance if I get attacked. So let's get on with this little task at hand. I should put them in the other place, shouldn't I? They do like falling. They, they keep walking towards me and fall off, which is helps me. Let's just move that into this position. I 
seems to be reasonably quiet, thankfully. I should be able to reach there fairly soon. blocks to go. Yes, here we are. And with a skeleton. Uh, let's eat this notch apple now. Oh, and I got a uh, with the skeleton skull. That is going to be actually very necessary. Um, this one I want, don't I? Let's make this a bit higher as well. On both sides. I think I'm doing this side, don't I? Yes. Three seventy six, sixty two. Let's put my slab down to get up. This is a bit strange actually, I would have thought that would have to be on there. I'll have to go and ch check the quest book again. I'm certain it's 62 and I'm 61. Okay, I'm talking dribble, let's get up with this and make it up a bit. Uh, block. Oops. Somebody's shooting at me. Missed though. Oh yes, they are as a blaze. In fact, this is actually quite useful, I think. Let's get my bow and arrow out. I'm really lucky I'll get a bla blaze rod out of this. Not from that one, of course. I'm going hitting the fence, aren't I? Let me just check. I'm going to be careful I don't hit any zombie pigmen in this process. Where am I up to now? 376. 62. Right. Right, well, he dropped his belly's rod, alright, but it was in a place I can't get. Ah, another one good. So I think I need to be up here. I think that's where I'm supposed to be. And I haven't got my quest book with me. Well, let's do some more building work here as well. I think it would be a good idea to put some walls down here. Well, there are no mobs about. Another. Oh, probably better with a sword, wouldn't I? Oh, this is a skeleton. Uh, this is, I'm wasting a lot of time, aren't I? Not very good at this game, to be honest with you. Right, that should be adequate for that side. Yes, and then I can put a gate to get through and so they can't get through here now, which we'll make it up another level. Yeah. Is that another wither skeleton? Good, he can't get to me. Good, that's excellent. So, let's make this a bit safer on this side. If I ever get the bricks in the right place, that is. Yes, he can't get through, that's super. Ordinary bricks, let's place them down here. I think this is where I want. 
happened to be. And I should place some half slabs on here as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's just fill this in a bit if I can. Make it at least a little bit safer. And if I put some half slabs on this now, they won't be able to spawn in this particular bit. But they can't spawn on slab posts anyway. Gonna let's go, shall we? Hmm. That's quite satisfying. Some more slabs. I'm just doing slabs. Let's get these slabs down. And then we shall go back and get the quest book out of the um, chest and see how well I've done. If I've actually solved this, because if I have, I will get an air signal. Right, now I've got the quest book, let's have a look. Now I've visited, so I can claim a reward. Find a single use or dark one. Let's just try this one. Claim the reward. And right click, and let's have a look what we've got to do now. Flight of the Ghosts, I've got to make an icicle. And when I do that, I get some iron boots, a reward bag, and half a heart. So, let's go back to the base now, and make an icicle. I'll see you there, bye for now.